goes for miles through the red rock canyon mazes, past the places the mule deer grazes, to river and sage on sparse terrain. The touch of humanity is birth and sting. Each year, the salmon put on that majestic red robe. They wrap it about their white washed bones and they return to their descendants who await them there on the shores. For the salmon, it's an awesome climb. Red robes flashing up the waterfalls and their descendants are all waiting there to undress them, to take off that majestic purple robe, and when they are done sitting close about those fires, then they know as they are done and filled and full, they must replace each bone exactly into the white rushing water. And if one bone is missed, it might be the hard ring of the salmon's eye. And soon one of the people will begin to sicken and fail in sight until that bone is found and replaced exactly into that white, rushing water. This is the business of generation. Each year the bones must return to the depths and there the ancestors enrobe those white bones in return. And for the salmon in the depths, they are far down in the depths of black other. It is an ancient, exhausting process as they gather themselves there in the longboats and they head out towards the stars. It is a far trip into the stars where their descendants await them there on the riverbanks. And as they set out, they are tired and they are exhausted. And as they move up towards the stars that are the river mouths, they pass charcoal and many are lost. And as they move up towards the river mouths that are the stars they reach towards, they pass foam floating and many more are lost. And as they move up, they come to that point where the sky bears down upon the earth with the force of a woman giving birth and there are but moments for the canoe to pass through and the ends of the canoe are caught and crushed and many more are lost and those that survive they are flashing lures and coins in the current and they race shaking the sky with joy leaping in expectation into the fish traps that are home where their descendants await them, awaiting to take off that majestic purple garment. And as I stand shaman on the bank, I look at the great fish moving towards me and I know that there is one amongst them, one that is calling to me from the unimaginable depths of dark other. One whose eyes have all the wisdom of rock and water, and it is I, and I know that it only will I want to kill, and I will run 
lunging and slashing until we fall together into a final dying, rising rush. I've been hearing the words of the premier. Yeah, Barras is wagging his tongue, talking about cheap electricity. We got enough energy to burn. He's saying it's straight to the lower 48. We'll line up your shopping malls, condition the air in Manhattan, make mountains of snow in the fall. It's clean, it's safe, it's really okay. There's nothing going on up in James Bay. So Hydro-Quebec shakes hands with the devil and trades the flesh of the Inuit and Creed to Westinghouse and the Electric General, who sells all the power to you and me. So that you start squirting through the wire, and children in warm New England houses play, and Granny sits by electric fire while hell's a freezing over up in James Bay. But I'd rather hear the plaque of a beaver's tail as it echoes across the lake, or the snap of a twig under the hoof of a deer that runs through the brink, or follow to the north the caribou trail with the Cree who hunt to put food on the plate. But some giant jacks are ripping the earth, setting up rivers to flood out the plains. Polluting the waters with houses of power, clearing whole forests till nothing remains. Now mothers can't breastfeed their children for the mercury running in their blood, and the salmon are swimming in circles. The moose are stuck in the mud, you got a fist of iron. But your feet are made of clay, and you're gonna get broken if you don't stop stepping on James Bay. Meanwhile, down in the Empire State, the mountains are bare. The skiers can't wait. So electric hoses spit out the flakes in artificial winter. And in northern Quebec, there's no one around. No animal tracks are seen on the ground. You can't even hear a whisper of sound. There's way up in the winter. What is not dying is flying away. It's getting real quiet up in James Bay. 